Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name's Joel, and this is A Stable Life. Walking over to the rain gauge, and we look like we just about got an inch of rain last night. The good news is that it looks like this is gonna be the last storm for about a week. Potentially, potentially the last storm for about a week. We all know how things change. But taking a look at everything, we could see that the property handled the rain well. It was overnight. I was awoken by a lightning strike, but other than that, I really have no idea how hard or heavy it came down. From the looks of things, it doesn't look like it came down too heavy, which is good. We don't need any more hard hitting rains like we got last time. We also need is a lot of dry weather, and it's looking like we might be getting some of that. So I hope that for all of you that need the rain, I hope it makes its way over to you guys, because I know you need it. It is a beautiful Friday morning, which means we will be doing the extra fly spray for some of the horses. We also will be keeping a lookout for all the hooves. And of course, because of the rain, you guys are getting the drill. We gotta make sure we take a look at the horse's legs and bodies to check for rain rot and scratches. Hopefully we won't be having any new horses that have it and the horses that do have it are on the mend. Uh, yesterday, Gavin said that things are looking promising and good, but that was before we got another inch of rain. Time will tell and we will see how things look for today. But for now, we're going to be going over and measuring out all the grain for all of our horses. And then we gotta move on to hay. Last one. Sweet! And with that, we're now ready to feed the donkeys. What you eating over there, Rocky? Yeah, eating some weeds? That's nice. What about you, Buster? How are you today? Yeah, what's up, guys? Ready for some grain? There we go. Oh, looking good. Nice and quiet, nice and clean. Good food, huh, buddy? Looks like most of the horses are right up here at the big field, ready to come on in. Good stuff. Very good stuff. We'll set you guys right next to the door where the horses come in. Give you a pretty cool view. Ronnie, Ronnie. Yeah, come on, Scoots. Come on, puppy. Come on, puppy! Yeah! Yeah, hey, pretty girl, come here. Come here. Yeah, come here. Yeah, <laughs> welcome back. And welcome back guys. We have one whole wing of the barn completed. All of these horses are set and ready. Uh, we're over on the next wing and we're moving this direction because of course you have to remember today we're doing the extra fly sprays but we're also checking for scratches and rain rot especially with that extra inch of rain that we got. Any progress that we were making can be rolled back with that. So I thought what we would do is do a comparison. Duke is somebody who has recently gotten scratches, so we'll see how he's doing. And then we'll go over to Casino and Skywalker, who are horses that have had scratches, and we'll see how things are progressing with them. Hey, Duke. Hey, buddy. Good to see you. So let's see how things look down here. Wow. Well, that is great to see. It, that, uh, you know, you got a little bit there, but honestly, nothing too crazy. So we'll still spray this with Banix and Mud Shield powder, but uh, my assumption is that by tomorrow, he will be good. We will only need a Mud Shield powder that. That's, that's awesome to see that he's gotten that much improvement in this little period of time. 
that means that we caught it really early, so that's great. Of course, today is also the day Duke gets fly sprayed, so we can't forget to do that. And yeah, this is a time-consuming job, but the alternative is that we end up getting horses that are lame, or in other words, they are limping and can't walk. And now the owners can't ride them, which is one of the main reasons why they have the horse. So a little extra time keeping them happy and healthy is well worth the effort. Right, Duke? All right, I just gotta put some powder on his legs and then he's good to go. Hey, Casino. Good to see you, buddy. All right, so let's take a look at his scratches and see how things are looking back here for Casino. Now that's nice, he got it all covered in mud. That's what we're not looking for. But you know what I'm seeing, guys? I am not seeing any scabbing. I do see some hair loss, but the hair is coming back. He is just about good, which is great. So all we're gonna do is just clean it, apply some more Banex and some more Mud Shield to make sure that we don't start going backwards. Check his front legs. Good, good, oh yeah. Sweet, that is awesome, Casino. That is awesome. You know, for a lefty, this is hard to do all right-handed. Oh, there we go. Good stuff. Well, that is great to see. And that fits right in with the week timeline that I put for them getting better, so that's awesome. All he needs is some sunscreen, and then he's set. All right, we are here with Spitfire. Let's see how he's doing. Let's first take a look at that rain rot. Yeah. There we go. All the scabbing off of that. And we will, of course, treat that. Rub that in. Rub that in. Let's take a look at the scratches. Now, his scratches is definitely not as progressive as Duke's or as Casino's. Casino's He's gone, uh, which is great. So Casino's back to being good and healthy again. I am seeing some new hair growth, which is encouraging. Let's check that puncture wound. Last I saw, it looked pretty good. Oh, that looks great. You see that, guys? Yeah, that looks great. Spitfire is definitely slower on the mend than the rest of the horses, but the point is, he is on the mend. So long as we're seeing good results, that tells us that the treatment is working for him. Okay, and then on top of all of that that we're doing, we are also working on putting copper tox on all of the horse's hooves. Since it's been so wet, we wanna make sure that we are out and ahead of any abscesses, any potential abscesses. So uh, we are going through the entire barn and we are cleaning out every horse's hoof, putting copper tox on the inside so that we can prevent any abscesses from forming. You guys saw on Wednesday, when we were doing all of the hoof hardener for all of the horses that were getting hoof hardener, they were also getting uh, Durasol put on because of their soft hooves. Uh, but the copper tox, we are just blanket putting on all of the horses. In this example, we're here with Obi putting it on on top of all the daily care. Thankfully, Obi doesn't have any scratches or rain rot. He's been good. In fact, you can see Obi's really dry. So that's what we like to see. So Gavin went through yesterday and he did half the barn to help me out with this. And I am doing the other half of the barn. And like I said, actually we haven't found any horses to have abscesses, but when you have scratches and rain rot this prevalent throughout the barn, it's only a matter of time before one of them gets an abscess. And when one of them gets an abscess, it's a matter of time before 
a lot of them get abscesses and it'd be so much better to not have any that have an abscess. So yeah, as you guys can see, morning feeding definitely takes some time. Well, we have all the horses copper toxed and treated for rain rot and scratches and everything. So they're all done. The last thing we need to do is the donkeys. We gotta give them some fly spray. So what do you guys think? You think uh, Rocky will let me give him a treat? I'm hoping. That way I don't have to go running all over the pasture trying to get fly spray on them. Huh? You see that guys? Oh, today's a win. All right, time for some fly spray. Time for some fly spray. Good boys. Sweet. Good boy, Rocky. Good boy, Buster. All right, today was a success. And now the donkeys have fresh breath. <laughs> and finally, we can let all the horses out of the barn. are out. Looks like they're taking, a lot of them are just going to start sleeping, enjoying the day. Good stuff. We got the horses turned out right at lunchtime, so I'm going to head up and enjoy a little bit of lunch here, and then we'll see what we're doing for the afternoon. So a whole hour has passed. I ended up having lunch. It was BLTs. It was very good, nice and tasty. Then I went home and checked on my mom. She's doing well. Gave her an update on how the horses are all looking and how everything's doing fine. And we're here now at Weatherstall, where he broke the uh, one of the frame pieces that are part of his stall. This was nailed originally into a piece of wood. Gavin actually fixed this yesterday. <laughs> and it did really well, it did really well. It looked, uh, looked pretty good, but then uh, today it pulled right back out. So we're going to separate these two pieces of wood, take the nails out, and I'm going to use my new masonry bit that's gonna be for the other side, putting in the railing. We're gonna drill couple holes here, fasten this to the, the cinder block, and then we'll screw this piece of wood to this piece so it's a lot more sturdy, because that's what it's gonna be needed for weather. Okay, now we'll have to nail out all these nails. I mean hammer out. Okay. Now I can yank all these out. Now we're gonna drill a pilot hole through the wood. Masonry bit's working quite well. Oh my goodness, wow. Yeah, I didn't need to drill that many holes. That That's great. I think I only need to do one more on the top and I think we're good, guys. Perfect, fastened to the center block. Nice and tight. That's fixed. 
and the masonry bit works. That's like two great things to hear about. We're doing a lot to keep the horses clean and protected in the horse stable, but I wanted to take a look at our feeders and they're not bad. I'm gonna do everything that I possibly can to help keep the horses good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean this area out here and same for the middle field uh, for this afternoon. To really just make sure there's absolutely everything all of my I's are dotted and all of my T's are crossed. Let's start cleaning up this ground. Make it look nice and smooth. Between this video and the last video, you guys are getting some really good looking stuff in 4K, huh? <laughs> I just finished working on cleaning out the big fields feeder and I'm moving my way up to the middle fields feeder. And I just thought I'd show you guys, look at this, William, Champ, Archer, and I think Rebel are over in the meadow grazing. That's so beautiful to see. I like seeing them all the way over there. Look at this beautiful spread. Oh man, that's gorgeous. Right Declan? Oh, Archer's right here. I have no idea who that is over there. So that is Poe, Champ, Rebel, and William. I used my phone because it's got the big zoom on it. So I was able to actually identify who they are all the way over there. <laughs> okay, it is feeding time. So I got to get going, get the middle field cleaned up. And then we're going to put two fresh round bales out for the horses. Uh, even though it's Friday and not a Saturday, that way my Saturday's cleared up. I figure we're close enough. We got a nice big stretch of dry weather coming in. We give them a nice fresh round bale, let them dig in. Always nice to see all the horses coming in when we call for them. With all of them in the barn, that means we can now get started putting out hay for our horses. So we're gonna get two round bales over on the hill and put one in the big field and one in the middle field. They're out grazing, enjoying that beautiful grass, but we like having that extra hay out there for the horses. Uh, there's up to 15 horses that's out in that pasture. So we need to make sure that there is extra food in the event they need some. We can't have any of our clients' horses losing weight while they're out in the pastures. So. It's better ought to be on the safe side and put a round bell out for them to enjoy. What do you think, Rocky? You think that's a good idea? Hey guys, so I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thought we'd end it a little differently this time around and kind of just uh, let you guys see all the horses as they get turned out, heading out, eating some food, eating some grass, and enjoying the beautiful evening that we have here. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps the channel out a lot. Uh, leave down in the comments below how your summer has been going and if there's any activities that you'd like to get accomplished before summer ends and fall arrives. Thank you again for watching and for all of the support you guys show our channel. It means the world to us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.